Hello and welcome. April Ray here, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So today um, I wanted to talk about, is there really, um, I want to talk about offline marketing and online marketing. And is there, is it, does it really have to be offline versus online? And it doesn't. It really does not. Now, I'm an introvert, and I find myself ha very comfortable just doing online marketing. Offline, you know, if I'm out and about with my husband, who's a big, like, extrovert, and he sets up a situation where I'm talking, like, he sets up a situation for me where I'm talking to someone and engaging with someone one-on-one, -on -one, I'm good. A lot of times for if I'm in a, a big crowd or something like that um, in, at an event, I find it difficult to uh, mingle. So, you know, it's, it's just preference. I work better online. My husband works better offline. He doesn't like working online. I'm good with um, websites. I'm good with capture pages. I'm good, you know, you know, marketing those things and promoting those things. And I like the fact that I can set something up and it's working for me 24 hours. 24 hours, seven days a week. A blog post that I created last week or last month or last year is still bringing me leads, right? And so there's nothing wrong with doing both. You know, like I said, if I was at a, um, what do you call those events where you get a bunch of network marketers or direct sellers and they have booths or something like that, I would do something like that, you know, because it's actually because it's a structured environment and I would have my own booth and I'm talking about whatever my product is. I don't mind doing those things. I don't even mind talking to people one on one about, you know, my business opportunity if, or my product or whatever. But like I said, I prefer to market online. Um, some people say, you know, you, especially in network marketing, network marketing, they really only teach you how to go out and do traditional marketing. That's boots on the ground, that's going to meetings, hotel meetings, that's going to people's houses and traveling to other cities and other states and talking to people and, you know, because people like one-on-one, -on -one, blah, 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 blah. And that's all good. I appreciate people who do that. But if I'm also building a team, because we have to know that network marketing is not just about you. You're building a team, you're bringing people in, you need to have options for them. Not everybody is going to be comfortable with doing it the way you do it. And just because you got results and you say, well, it's a proven way, it's a proven method, yeah, but guess what? Online marketing is proven too. People are making a whole lot of money. People are doing really good and they're six-figure earners and they've never done a house party or a home party. They've never uh, done a three-way call. They've never traveled to another city. You know, traveling to another city for them is doing a webinar and inviting people on their list who just just happen to be from other cities. It's just another way of marketing. So it's not an either or an or thing. If you prefer to do it and you know how to do it, which you should know how, so that you can teach whoever you bring on your team that say maybe doesn't feel quite comfortable, you know, going to people's houses and doing meetings or going to have the time to go to um, a business meeting every three days in a week. You know, you give them options, showing that there's other ways, at least set up. I always say at least set up your online presence, have your website, you know, ha your website is working for you 24 seven, have your blog, your blogs go out, you're going to have people, you know, contacting you from those blogs 24 seven, do your YouTube, your videos, have a, a YouTube channel, all of these things are working for you so that you're not spending your whole entire life, you know, offline chasing people and going to different cities and doing these things all day long. And a lot of times, you, most of the time people are doing offline marketing I'm not badgering offline marketing I'm just simply stating you're not building a list you know you're 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 going to these cities and then you might get some people to sign up and then you leave what about the people who said no you know or who's maybe you're not ready to do it right then and there you want to build a list now you can do that offline hell I, I have a my Aweber I use Aweber autoresponder and it has an, an app where I can add people to my list from my phone. So these are, it's on, that's an online method, but you can use it offline. It's, there's so many ways to market that, you know, don't leave it to, don't leave it that you only have to do it one way. There's options for you. 
Now, like I said, I don't have a problem with going to different cities. People will get great results, you know, traveling around and building, you know, other helping other people, you know, doing the their their business meetings or what have you. My thing is, what happens while you're doing that? If you had an online presence, you could also be generating leads while you're doing that. While you're sleeping, I get leads while I'm sleeping. All right, I get signups while I'm sleeping, and that's just the advantage of online marketing. So it doesn't have to be an either-or thing. If you like to be offline, if you like talking to people, if if that's your personality, by all means, incorporate that. You need to be doing that. That's you. But if you're not the type of person, if you're an introvert like myself, and you prefer, you know, if another way of meeting people or talking to people on social media, maybe that's more comfortable for you. Then you should be able to do that too and incorporate both so that's all I just wanted to I, to reiterate that it doesn't have to be an either or thing you can incorporate both and I highly suggest that you do all right so that's it if I provided any value for you if you got anything out of it go ahead and if you're watching on YouTube give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel also if you want to know how I learned how to do online marketing how I learned how to build my website how I learned how to continuously stay up front about all the um, the cutting-edge uh, social media marketing strategies Go ahead and click the link below and see what I'm doing. All right, you guys, thanks again for joining me, and bye-bye for now.